to this week's vlog. We are jumping right in by going to the gym. I'm actually filming a reading video at the gym. Basically like reading and walking on the treadmill at the same time. So I now have too many things and I'm planning on taking the thumbnail today. So I need to bring like an actual book, not my Kindle. You know, I have a Celsius and my phone and my keys and my microphone and now I have my camera and I got a new tripod, which is like way more slim and subtle. So I'm going to try to build up the confidence to take a thumbnail at the gym. I'm going at an unbusy time, hoping I can set it up in front of my treadmill and not be embarrassed, but I'll probably be embarrassed. But I was using my like little like purse backpack and I just have too many things. So now I'm just bringing a full on backpack. All right, feel like I'm going to school. This is so my most embarrassing thing. This is what I do for them. I come behind the class and set this up. I decided today was my youtuber flop day I get to the gym and I think I'm having this like mic'd up walking gym sesh you can't hear a dang thing I was saying that whole time tomorrow I'm gonna go to the gym I'm gonna try to do mic'd up again for the reading vlog I'm doing but also for this vlog and try to like actually hold it up to my mouth I forgot how loud the gym is plus I was like because I was so nervous, but there was like barely anyone there. So I'll just be more confident tomorrow. Um, the second thing I flopped in was my camera died pretty much five minutes after I got there. Cause guess who forgot to charge their camera last night? <laughs> Me, woo. Still getting used to full-time YouTuber vibes. Um, wanted to show you guys a new tripod I got. It was only like $14 on Amazon, I think. It's kind of hard to open and close. I definitely had a big struggle moment at the gym with it, but once it's open, this thing is phenomenal. So nice and small compared to my massive tripod. And then it literally can get to, I think 72 inches tall. Y'all can even see the top of it. Like it, it just keeps going and going and going and going on the way back up. Okay, let me just stand next to it. It's literally taller than me. This is definitely it. It can hold my phone or my camera. I love her. I feel like my vlogs, my goal is to kind of do a little bit of like behind the scenes of other stuff I'm working on and then also events and like live stuff going on. So this week I am filming and organizing. I got my notion board kind of all set up and organized. I really like the way I organized it. Just all my video deals, when I think they'll be published, if anything is a sponsorship and getting all that sent in. And then um, I have like an editing schedule. So I'm getting everything kind of organized and I started using my planner pretty good. Um, I'm really liking using a planner. It actually helps me a ton, but I actually need to refilm an entire video that I filmed right before I got let go from my job because it doesn't make sense anymore. So I'm about to see if this camera can get on the tripod and not fall over because I feel like it won't, but we're gonna try. Here we go. I also really like the way you can put the camera on there without having to like just twist it around. So it's on, now can it hold up? I need this to be really tight. It works. This is amazing. Oh, nope, it's going down. It needs to be even tighter. Come on. I was thinking it would be more like a vlog tripod, but it'd be nice if this camera could hold up, but I don't think it can. And also the downfall of this is that it'll like wobble for a little bit. So I just have to like do a quick millennial pause every time I'm trying to record to make sure it's not wobbling anymore. But um, good to go. Now I'm gonna film my video. This is a little bit more of like a chill video, but this is the BTS of getting set up. I think I'm just gonna have to switch it off this tripod because I like it angled down, but it'll just fall if I do that. <laughs> From y'all's perspective in like the vlog, do you guys like seeing the behind the scenes of like filming my other videos? Or is that like weird? Like you feel like I'm breaking the fourth wall vibes. Would you rather me like not show this kind of stuff? I don't know. Let me know what's good with you guys. Do I talk too much? Do I not talk enough? B-roll, like I'm trying to up my vlog game, but I only know what's working if y'all tell me. Are y'all hearing that noise? The birds are back, which means it's basically spring. I wrapped up a lot of my editing for today. Um, for some reason, I'm editing like seven videos at once, so my brain is fried. So I'm gonna literally read like the rest of the night. I got my candle, throw on a glass. I'm gonna take my cats out. They're like rolling around begging to go outside. They have like these really long leashes, so I can just put them on the chair I'm sitting on and let them kind of walk around while I read. And now that my deck is all done, it's so cute and vibey, except we can't light the fire yet. We're like missing a piece anyway. So I'm just gonna sit out here. I'll probably grab a blanket and enjoy my book. Where should I sit though? I'm kind of feeling the chair. I'll sit here. 
the vibes are vibing for sure. All right, we are back. We'll see if you guys can actually hear me today. I feel like I wanna switch angles though. Hold on. All right, we're back. Oh, great angle. Walking and waiting. I didn't read as much as I thought I was going to last night because I ended up calling Charlie, but anyways, we're back at the gym today. Hopefully you guys can actually hear me today. I'm still talking quiet, but I'm talking directly into this mic, so hopefully you can hear me. After the gym, Abram said, today's Friday, we're getting seven through, and I said, don't have to tell me twice, I will pick it up and bring it home. So I'm very excited to get this done so I can do that. Also, the way the gym is set up, I'm like on a balcony, so like everybody down can look up, see that I'm recording, but I don't feel too nervous, so see you guys later. I am done at the gym. I only walked for 15-ish, 20-ish minutes. I'm just so excited for this coffee. It's disgusting outside today though. It is 30 something degrees. It is rainy and just not the vibe. I'm very looking forward to this coffee. Recently I'd been drinking a Celsius pretty much like every morning. Okay, I cannot see anything. Which I think is why I didn't walk as long today because A, I had no caffeine in me because I'm not gonna drink a Celsius and then get a latte and B, I don't know what B was supposed to be. Um, I don't know what I was planning on saying there. Sorry about that. Um, just literally lost my train of thought. The next big vlog I do will be my birthday vlog. I, this is my last week essentially of being 22. I turned 23, not this Monday, but like the next Monday. On the 26th, I turned 23. That is crazy. All right, I'll see you guys when I get to Seven Brew. Okay, I'm at Seven Brew and the car in front of me, at first I was like, oh, cutesy. They have like skeletons hanging off the back of their car i was like okay halloween all year long my cousins really like halloween too um then i start reading all of their bumper stickers and they have one that literally says i'm going to hell in every religion oh <laughs> okay that's really thrilling thank you for that certainly some choices were made got the goods revive me Yum! I forgot how good Seven Brew is. Sugar-free cinnamon roll with whole milk. In the drive-thru, it definitely started hailing for a second. So this is not just rain, this is hail. And it is cold outside. I don't mind cold, but like rainy cold is disgusting. All right, this is my meal prep, plus this little sauce I'm gonna add. It really does happen. So I was cooking so much stuff and trying to calculate the calories and everything that I literally forgot to put any seasoning on the meat. No salt, no nothing. And keep in mind, let me show you how many seasonings I normally put on it when I'm cooking. This is my go-to seasoning setup. So hopefully it's still good. I mean, there's this like sauce and there's soy sauce on it. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's still good. I mean, it's ground beef. Ground beef is just good. After calculating everything, I definitely could have made this more meat, more calories, but we're also gonna get Papa John's tonight because we have like a discount code for 50% off, so not too worried about it. And I'm drinking a whole latte with whole milk, so it's fine. Next time I'll just add more. And other news, it is really good. This meal, yeah. as you can tell and I forgot to take a thumbnail for one of my videos and this is the year that I'm not going to forget to take thumbnails. Thumbnails I'm trying so hard to get better at because YouTube obviously you gotta be good at thumbnails. So I am taking one right now. Oh. Alright there's gotta be a good one in there. I'm still just obsessed with this tripod. Like, it gets so tall, it's taller than me. Um, I finished uploading, editing, everything that I kind of had on my to-do list for today. I have nothing else planned for the rest of the day, so I think I'll just read. And every time it's like a Friday and I have no plans, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna read. And then I'm like, it's Friday, I should be doing something. So then I feel like, oh, so I'm just here. And then I'm like, that's kind of sad. And then I'm like, wait, 
I've looked forward all week to having just like some time to read. So I don't know why it's really hard for me to actually just sit down and read, but once I'm doing it, I love it. So we're just gonna go force myself to sit down and read. I really need to get like a little portable light for these vlogs because vlogging in my living room is just always ugly at nighttime. Or it just needs to be summer so it's not dark already. I pre-ordered our Papa John's pizza. It'll get here in like two hours. And I almost drank all my coffee today. If you guys know, I really struggle to finish drinks, so I'm actually gonna finish it. But I drank most of it within like three hours of getting it, so that's pretty good. Anyway, let's get to reading. Okay, update, Never mind. <gasps> Okay, first of all, uh, Abram came upstairs and wants to go get a little Sonic drink. So, order on the app and it's always happy hour. So that means it's only like $2, so let's go get it. Charlie, if the end of throwing a glass like is emotional and just I thought this would help <laughs> and would like fulfill this like need of me to like scream and cry and she said the last hundred pages as Sarah J Mass does is wild so I'm on page 205 out of basically 400 pages so I'm 50% through the book I think I could literally finish this but I'm a really really slow reader so like it'll definitely be like 2 a.m. when I finish so let's embark on this journey <laughs> I'm gonna try to give myself some sort of like reward system every like 20% more or like 50 pages or whatever so right now the first reward I can think of is getting a Pepsi the second reward would be moving to my bed because if I go to my bed I might fall asleep so I'm gonna try to not get in bed yet um, and then I'll think of other rewards while I'm reading sometimes it helps if I read out loud so I'm gonna read out loud a little bit Yum. It has been an hour and 17 minutes and I am on page one, or sorry, 263. So I basically read 60 pages in an hour and 20 minutes. So I think I'm gonna reward myself, but I don't really want a Pepsi or anything anymore. So I'm gonna reward myself by washing off my makeup and getting into bed. And my phone's at 2%, so plugging my phone in so I can keep listening to music. I've been wearing mascara too often. So when I do, my eyes just like hurt after a little bit. When I was reading my book, it was starting to like blur when I looked. So I don't know what that's all about. Okay, my eyes are like never wear makeup again. Because they're like so annoying. Okay, I'm going that was an amazing face wash session as I anticipated. I'm now sitting here ready to read. I want to finish the whole book. Like I think once I get to the last 100 pages, I'm gonna fly through it. But like I said, I'm a slow reader. It's almost midnight. Me at midnight on a Friday night. Do I wanna stay up that late? Is it smart to stay up that late? We'll see what happens. Good morning. I fell asleep last night, clearly, reading my book. And I was so annoyed because I wanted to finish the book so bad. I have less than 100 pages left, but I could not keep my eyes open. <laughs> so I fell asleep. So we're gonna finish it today. All right, well, I'm gonna head to the gym and knock that out before I decide that I don't wanna go. <laughs> I forgot I really needed to get gas, and I also forgot it's still, I guess, technically winter. Ooh, it is very cold outside, and I don't have a jacket or anything. I just got back from the gym and took an everything shower that was desperately needed. My legs were so hairy, my hair was so oily. The girlies get it, okay? It was a great shower. I was at the gym for two hours because I wanted to finish Throne of Glass, which when I walk and read, I read like twice as slow. So literally took me two hours to finish like a hundred pages or less, but that's fine, we're good. I just threw some laundry in cause like all my, all my clothes get washed, okay? It's just one of those days. I also need to do like a big clean up but I finished throwing a glass it was so good anyway I'm kind of hungry I also need to clean we still have some leftover pizza so maybe I'll just eat some of that and just kind of hang out until we go celebrate Log's birthday actually I just checked my phone and apparently we're all gonna go to dinner so I'm just gonna have like a little snack and then eat dinner girl dinner 
I am gonna go ahead and get ready. I'm not 100% sure if I feel like doing makeup tonight. Maybe just like my light makeup, but I just got my new glasses in, so I'm definitely gonna be wearing my glasses instead of contacts. The one downfall of the everything shower is of course dealing with the hair. And I have very thick hair, it takes forever to do. So let's get it done. We got back at like 2 a.m. and then we went to Taco Bell. So I probably didn't go to sleep until like 3 a.m. And then I woke up and cleaned my room, threw in the laundry from the casino because everything smells like smoke from in there. We just made coffee and finished up our leftover pizza or like heated up so we're gonna eat that outside. It's really cold though. And it's Sunday so like pretty chill vibes today. I did forget to tell you guys about our winnings or whatever last night. So Abram went in with $100. He at one point got up to almost $300, but then lost all that, but he walked away with $100. So he didn't win, he didn't lose. I went in with $60 and we just played blackjack, $15 minimums the whole time. I don't know why, we all just love blackjack. We play blackjack on GTA, we play blackjack on our phones, like not for money, obviously just for fun. So when we go to the casino, we just sit down and play blackjack all night. I went in with $60. I like doubled it, almost tripled it and then I lost everything. <laughs> but the way that we always do it when we go to the casino is like, okay, I'm going in with this amount of money. If I lose it, then that's just paying for like one fun night for you know going out for Logan's birthday or whatever. And we got to play for like five hours, so that's pretty good. So essentially, me and Abram only lost $60 the whole night, which is pretty good. And I think Logan won, so he bought us Taco Bell last night. <laughs> Anyways, it is Sunday reset time. basement my office and our bedroom are pretty much clean I just care the most about like my living room and kitchen being reset because that's where most of the mess always is so I'm feeling really good and now I'm just kind of waiting for family dinner y'all remember how long it took me to do my hair yesterday like washing it blow drying it blow out curls everything well I took my hair out of the bun and then I realized it all smelled like smoke from the casino and I was like you've got to be kidding I only wash my hair like once a week because it takes so long. So I just did like the quickest hair wash and tried to blow dry a little bit, but it's time for dinner. So like, if I knew I smelled like that, I could have showered sooner. Off to Happy birthday, birthday to you. <laughs> <laughs> I missed the song. <laughs> We literally just remembered that today is Griffin's first birthday. He's one. Look at that big one-year-old. So we have some pumpkin and some cats like pumpkin. We've never given it to them. So we're gonna try it for his birthday. Make him sit like a human. Yay. It's you, buddy. Griffin. <laughs> he is not interested. Okay, did he not try any? I put it on his mouth and he licked it. Griffin wasn't really interested in the pumpkin. But his favorite toy in the whole world is a spring, so. Good morning and happy Monday. The last day I will be vlogging this week's vlog. Today is my brother's 26th birthday. So we'll probably do something later tonight to celebrate him. But until then, I am gonna head to the gym. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, let me just explain what happened. So I go to the gym and I was doing my reading while walking and I walked for 45 minutes and half of this walk, my mom called me and then someone I know from like my hometown got on the treadmill next to me, didn't realize it was someone I knew and then we both realized and then we were talking. So then we were talking, so I wasn't reading, which that was fine, I really enjoyed it. And then um, we, I went down to like leave and then I ran into Callie, my friend, and I was like, hey, what are you hitting? And then she's like, oh, do you wanna join me? And I was like, I guess. So then I did 45 minutes of 
working out with her and then my dad called me in the middle of a set and I was like oh my gosh so I call him back and I knew we had plans today but I thought they were later today and he was like yeah so we're gonna go eat at right now like we're on our way there I'm at the gym so now I text Abram and it's his lunch break so I'm like hey I'm picking you up be ready I was kind of hoping I could run and get ready real quick but no so we're going to eat literally drenched in sweat Abram got in the car and was like you don't have like a towel to like wipe down or anything I'm like no I do not I'm covered in sweat so I smell bad I'm sweaty but Abram is here and we're gonna go get barbecue for Log's birthday right oh I almost just threw up I also got like leg day nausea so I'm just struggling over here hopefully the food will help anyway we're gonna go eat and then hopefully have time to shower before we go do our activities with Log <sighs> Let's go. Uh, on your birthday? I got a pulled pork nachos. And then he had told me to get a pulled pork nachos. I got no beans. He got no jalapenos. No slaw either. Oh, I got slaw. Yeah. Yeah. Slaw is... I like slaw if it's on something, but not just alone. And then the Bass Pro Aquarium. And I still haven't showered since the gym. Okay, finally just got home. Gonna shower up real quick, then go meet Log and hang out. I'm showered up, outfit of the day, just... T-shirt, leggings, covers, very chill. My go-to sweater that I wear every single day. Let me know if y'all are sick of literally seeing this sweater. Let's continue the birthday celebration. It's gonna go meet at Log's house. We are going to the Bass Pro Aquarium Museum thing, and we're just gonna walk around, which I've done like a million times, so y'all already know, but here we go. I also forgot, because it's just like a Monday, but everything's packed. It's President's Day, so I guess everyone's off work, so literally everywhere I've gone today has been packed. <laughs> Reels are all just alligators. He's been waiting this whole time to come look at the alligators. Now we can see the gators. Look at his little feet. They're so cute. They look like deflated. Yeah, it looks like gloves. The other thing Logan wanted to do for his birthday was go to Bucky's. <laughs> they just opened this Bucky's like a few months ago, and Logan hasn't been yet, so we're gonna go walk around. Taking a picture with Bucky. Look at all the stuff we got. Happy item. $90 later. Literally. <laughs> One of the main things that I've been missing since I moved from Texas, a kolashi. Oh, the kolashi. Yum, yum, yum. First, your sausage on the I guess stick. I'll take a bite of the sausage. Yum. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in my next video and the next vlog that I post will be my birthday vlog. Happy birthday vlog again. See you guys in the next one.